Hello everybody, Canix Loves back once again. It's time doing things a little differently. We're uh, doing a live stream on Twitch at the moment. This will go to YouTube at a much later date. Um, this is the beginning of a new series where I start booking uh, Raw, uh, not only Raw and, and Nitro like I was, but I'm going to do Raw, Nitro, SmackDown, 205, uh, NXT, so I'm going to be covering five shows and uh, booking them, not all in one setting, but it'll be uh, kind of more variety of what type of wrestling shows you're going to see. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This is going to be episode one. Let's get into it. We got Pyro back now. This will be a completely different feel than what UPW is going to be. Alrighty. We're going to be in Long Beach, California for episode one. things off with a one-on-one -on -one contest We've got Apollo Crews taking on Baron Corbin in our first match <clears throat> it's a new generation a new dawn some uh, new matchups new feel in my opinion that's my plan anyway my plan for a better WWE So here comes Apollo Crews, a talent that in the past may have been underutilized, but we're going to put him to work here on the new Raw, ran by, or booked by me, King of Clubs. This is a part of the King's Book series, or King Books series, whatever. Uh, yeah, so this particular series will be King Books Raw. There'll be a King King Books SmackDown, King Books NXT, King Books 205 Live, King Books Nitro. It's all going to be there. <clears throat> and then on YouTube, I'll probably make a grand playlist. I'll have individual playlists for them, and likely also have a, like a grand playlist on YouTube as well, uh, where I'll have all of them. Alrighty, let get it. Baron Corbin, who has his hair back now. So you put in some extensions. <clears throat> Still the uh, arrogant jerk that he always has been. So this, as I mentioned before, is going to be our first episode. You'll see, I'll do the uh, live the live tapings on Twitch, um, just whenever I can, whenever I feel like. I'm not sure. It all depends on when I get UPW's schedule adjusted. That'll be probably also affecting the schedule of when I 
tape these episodes. And there's the bell. Nice counter early on by Corbin. Oh, nice drop toe hold there by Paulo Cruz. Step up. Ooh, and a knee drop to the chest. And a kick to the spine. So. I've kind of started the idea, or I've got this series going to go in place of uh, the the series where I was booking Raw and, and Nitro. This is going to be taking over that spot. Nice suplex there by Apollo. He's taking it to Cor Corbin early on. Oof. Oh, hard right hand. Corbin runs over Apollo though. Taking him down. Oh, nice reverse DT. Oh, nice takedown. And a series of punches. Apollo showing some aggression here. Head scissors and forearm right across the face. Whip into the corner there. Oh! Nice ring forearm by Apollo Cruz. Taking it to Baron Corbin. Maybe he jumped like a sliding clothesline, didn't quite connect with it. Oh, nice back suplex. Back over by Corbin. Oh, big boot to the face. Oh, and a shoulder bomb. Kick out at one, though, by Apollo Cruz. Oh, nice neck breaker there by Apollo. Oh, and a standing shooting star press. Goes for a pin. One, two. Corbin kicks out. Going for that sit out power bomb. Oh. One, two, three. And Apollo Crews wins the first match of the new Raw. Corbin up. But he's going to try to offer a handshake. Corbin takes it. Corbin gives a genuine handshake to Apollo. Could this be a new form of Corbin in the new Raw? Be interesting to find out. Move on to our next matchup here. That's just our opening contest. Got the Revival taking on uh, the Ascension. So with the new Raw, with the with me taking over and booking all the shows plus WCW, I um, have taken away all the titles. So there's no championships currently, but I'll be sitting up for. Uh... Oh no! Look, it's the B team attacking the Revival prior to their match. B-team, much of the crowd's uh, dismay, they just softened up the former tag team champions as they uh, get ready to face off against the Ascension. The reason to make sure they're okay to start. Dash says, let's go. Oh, 
There's the bell. And it's Victor starting up against Dash Wilder. He gets him back into a corner. Victor's going to try to separate him. Oh, and a right hand. Oh, duck under. Ooh, forearm strike. And this could be a new start for the Ascension as well. They felt tag tiles in NXT. They haven't really had much luck. Oh! Guillotine style attack by Victor onto Dash Wilder. Victor now has Dash. Taken towards the corner. Ooh, boot by Dash Wilder. Open him over. Tag, in comes Scott Dawson. Oh, nice double team there by the Revival. Oh, Scott Dawson showboated a little too much that I got caught. Oh, look at that counter there by Victor. That's our direct takeover there. Up into the corner. Ooh, nice clothesline. Goes for an early pin. One. No, way too early. Oof. Oh, look at this. A series of punches there from Victor. Look at the eyes. Oh no, just rubbing his face, namely his eyes again, against the top rope. Carter is just to get into this match, tag again by the Revival. Oh, an assisted leg drop there by Dash Wilder. One, no, oh. kick out for two. Oh, just wearing on the head and neck area. Ooh. Just counter there. Just by Dash Wilder, scoop slam. Oh, a stomp to the face. Ooh, close line in the corner again. Victor is in a lot of trouble right now. He's just getting punished by the revival. Ooh, counter there. Oh, another counter there by Dash Wilder. Tag. In comes Scott Dawson. Oh! Work on the knee. Oh, there's that front chop block by Scott Dawson onto Victor. We're sitting up for. Are we gonna see the shatter machine? Tag. There it is, shatter machine. Shatter machine goes for a pin. One, two, three, and the revival gets the win. So despite being attacked before the bell, before the match, the Revival still get the win against the Ascension. Look at this. Assisted leg drop. And this is how it... This is how it went. Assisted double teams. Isolating one member of the Ascension expert tag team wrestling on the on behalf of the revival Bop there's that front chop block Welcome to the stream. This is our first episode of me booking raw Revival victorious so with the uh, 
with me booking raw, I have wiped the slate clean, so to speak. There are no current champions. But, uh, Revival are looking good. Possible contenders for the tag titles. Move on to our next matchup here. Alright, we got Braun Strowman taking on Elias. Here comes the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Strong man is a towering, towering individual. Not someone I would want this with. And here comes Elias. See him walking out to the entry, walking out the entranceway. One could say he's uh, drifting out. Did not get his own spotlight tonight. Did not get a chance to perform. In kind of a kind of in a foul mood about it too. But don't sleep on Elias, he is a very talented individual. He has talent in both uh, musical attributes as well as physical attributes. Oh no, and Elias made the mistake of running at the Monster Among Men. It's a punch, a couple punches now. A series of it actually. Trying to take out the monster. And uh, Elias with the early advantage. Stepping on the arm, oh, and I was stomping on the hand. I feel like this is just going to make him angry, though. Oh! Oh, nice counter into DET there. By Elias, on Strowman. Strowman rolls out of the ring. Uh oh. Now Elias is in trouble. Elias is on the floor. Oh, caught Strowman coming in. Elias gets Braun Strowman back in the ring. Oh! Slamming the chest. Oh, and a knee strike to the side of the head. And Braun is in trouble. 
Braun might actually get toppled by Elias. Goes for Finn. Uh, kick out before one even. Get back the leg there. Scoop. Oh, and a backbreaker. Hoping to throw him into the corner with the right knee. Oh, and I'm choking him. Referee needs to get in there and start making a count. Elias steps away. What's uh, Elias got planned here? Oh, and for an elbow drop. Oh no, Ron got caught. Knocked out of the ring, onto the floor. Oh, caught with a hard kick to the gut. And now, oh. Ron Strowman and Elias Ballant outside the ring. If he's count to five. Braun. Breaking the count. Oh! Look at this. Oh! That reverse choke slam on the floor. Five. Braun is nothing but pure power. Six. Why is slowly getting to his feet, slides in the ring. Oh! I want to get ran over by Braun Strowman. Oh, went for a. Kind of looked like he was going for a Beal. Counter by Elias. Oh! Elias now looking to the corner. Oh, a back elbow to the jaw. Another back elbow. Uh oh. Come up. Oh, almost like a shoulder bomb. Then he turns it around. Ron wants to make sure that Elias gets these hands. Oh, there's the rain power slam. Goes for a pin. One, two, three. Strowman, your winner. This is our first episode of the new Raw, with me in charge of booking now. This is actually the live taping of it, it'll air on YouTube at a, at a later date. Alright, let's move on to the next match up here. Got Dean Ambrose taking on Bobby Lashley. One of the things that happened with uh, me taking over this Raw, as I mentioned before, is that I've wiped everything clean. Like, there are no champions currently. And here comes the Almighty, Bobby Lashley.
Oh, here comes Ambrose. Oh, Ambrose right in and blindsiding the Almighty. Oh, block. Kick. <laughs> Ember strolling into the ring. Oh, come off the ropes. Missed the clothesline. Both men missing. Oh, Lashley didn't miss with that right hand. Lashley being infuriated by, by Dean Ambrose. Little boy called himself the uh, moral compass of WWE. He's agreed to stay on here with us now that I'm in charge. Oh, shoulder into the post. Oh, nice sequence there. And again, Ambrose kind of mocking Bobby Lashley. Rain down with those punches, though. Taking more towards the ropes. Oh, forearm strike. Ambrose hangs on. Oh. Got caught with a knee. Counter. Forearm strike to the jaw. Oh. It's a forearm of Oh, a headbutt. Look at Ambrose go. Just wanted to show that he stuck around for a reason. Oh, nice suplex there. Oh, a series of punches again. Oh, grab by the back of the neck and thrown down. Oh! Through the kicks to the knee there by Ambrose. Oh! A low angle suplex. Kind of snap suplex. Kept it low to the ground. Going for a fisherman suplex. One, two. Oh, Mike kicks out yet again. Just wearing out Lashley with these punches. Uh oh. Lashley gets him up. Oh, and a shin breaker. Elbow drop. Uh-oh. Lashley with that stalling suplex. Holding Ambrose. Oh! Before dropping him down. Oh, what's the last thing here? It could be... Oh! Oh, he's not going to hit him with a spear, is he? Oh! A spear coming a little low. One. Two. No. Ambrose able to roll the shoulder up at the last second. Oh! Ambrose busted open. We're actually going to go up top. Oh, double knees. Catching him. All by a clothesline. Nice fireman carry takeover there by Lashley. Oh, yeah. Full off, full off some slam. 
Oh, look at the strength. Oh, and a power slam. One. Kick out two. The spine. Going for another one, looks like. Oh. Yeah, deadlifting him. Oh, gut room suplex on Ambrose. Oh, I'm driving the knee down. Oh, up top. Goes for a splash again. Wait a second. Ambrose looking for dirty deeds here. Connects. Goes for a pin. One. Two. Three. And just like that, Ambrose fights back into a victory. Just boom. Lariat. It's thrown down. Oh, right back into the corner there. Fisherman suplex. Almost had him there. Ambrose with the win. Bleeding but doesn't care. Not that he would. Alright. Move on to our next match up here. This is the new Raw. A live taping here on Twitch. This will go up on YouTube at a later date. Got our first of two championship matches. Got Ronda Rousey taking on Charlotte Flair to crown the Raw Women's Champion. With me uh, taking over the booking here, I've wiped the slate clean, so to speak. So there are currently no champions on any of the shows. So we're going to crown some new champions. Here comes the... Oh no! Through the fog. Short player coming after Ronda Rousey. Oh! And the queen is striking. <laughs> Rousey going after the arm. With the queen. Now trying to get to the ring. This is a this is a title match that hasn't officially started yet. And can't start until they're both in the ring. Oh Charlotte. Oh hangs Rhonda up. On the top rope. Wait a second. <laughs> oh scoop slam. By Rousey. Hasn't even got her entrance gear up yet. Not even taking any of her gear off, she's going after the queen. Oh, and Charlotte fights back. Wait a second. Oh, going for the leg already. Oh. Now Rousey finally getting out of her her jacket and a kilt there. Oh. Or I'm strikes to the head. Again, Charlotte Flair going to the legs. And that is the strategy of of a Flair. Look at this though. Oh, that's just showing the strength. Oh, kick to the chest. Stomp to the leg. Arm strike. 
And a big clothesline knocking Rousey out of the ring onto the floor. Two. Two. Ronda gets into the ring. Nice counter there. With Charlotte across the ropes. Charlotte fighting back though. Oh! Couple of well placed punches to the ribs there. Oh, it didn't look like she was going for the spear. Uh oh. Went for Piper's pit, it looks like. Oh! That spinning Samoan drop. Now Rousey. It's caught. Oh no. Big clothesline. Now, Charlotte Flair going after the rowdy one. <laughs> oh. Stomping on her. Right on the head and neck. Oh! Speaking of working on the head, what a kick. Oh, Jason dropped you to the side. Drop pulls Rousey into the middle of the ring. Oh no, that's leg. Went through the figure four. Has the figure four. And now she's bridging into the figure eight. Charlotte Flair. Rousey flies to the maneuver. Able to break the hold fairly quickly. Oh. Strikes. Blocks the chop. Oh. There's the spear by Charlotte Flair. Goes for a pin. One, two. Kick out by Rousey. Rousey up. Kick. You think it's time for natural selection? Oh, there it is. You know, look at this. Boom. Now goes for a pin, this is for the championship, one, two, only a two count. Oh, something on the leg, another one. That blocks the chop, that's just with a punch. Oh, reverse DT. This match has been all Charlotte Flair. This is officially started. Oh! What a punch! Oh! There's one of those player style chops. Oh, and a suspension neck breaker there by the Queen. Uh-oh. Counter made by Rousey. Oh! And another spear. In the middle of the ring. Uh-oh. Going for it again. Has it. Figure four. Starting to bridge. Into the figure eight. Will Ronda tap. Will Charlotte Flair be able to make Ronda tap? And she does! And the Queen is the new Raw Women's Champion.
boom, spear. This is a clinic being put on by the Queen. Oh. There she is. New Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Congratulations to Charlotte for winning the Raw Women's Championship. That's only one of two championship matches tonight. Next we got another singles match on deck. You got Finn Balor taking on Jinder Mahal. And you gotta know that when, wherever Mahal goes, he's gonna have the Singh Brothers close by. Valor Club is here. Leader of it arriving. that Bowers is going to be looking to stake his claim for a championship opportunity our main event tonight which should be for the Universal Championship so we're going to crown a new champion like I said I've wiped the slate clean Fixing my phone. We'll see if Finn Balor has luck of the Irish tonight as he takes on the modern day Maharaja. Here come the Singh Brothers, close in tow. See if they're going to be instrumental in uh, in Mahal getting the victory tonight or not. We'll see.
Alright, ready to get this match underway here. Then be back to the corner very, very early on. Going for a clean break, perhaps. Oh! Well, it was a clean break at first. Mahal going with the cheap shot, going with that clothesline. Catching Balor. Balor fighting back, though. Oh, a nice counter there by Mahal. Oh! Going for a forearm strike, got caught with an STO. Now it's Balor with a counter there. Nice dragon screw leg whip. Uh oh. Oh! All says, yeah, if you can do it, I can do it too, buddy. Remember, Mahal's a former World Heavyweight Champion. Or, I'm sorry, former WWE Champion. Oh! Balor. It's Mahal outside. Going to fly? No, he stops. Mahal rushed into the ring. Oh! Oh, what a nice sequence there. By the extraordinary the extraordinary man that can do extraordinary things. Against the rope. Alar suplex. Oh, and hangs the hall up. Oh, and then catches him with a kick. That's the thing about uh, Finn Balor, is that he's really good at stringing together offense. Oh no! Referee got pulled in the way and got nailed. Mahal eats a suplex. Referee's back up. Oh! Oh, on a forearm strike. Balor in trouble now. The former champion. Oh, it looks like a modified figure four. Look at this. He's right by the ropes, though. Not good placement. Oh, nice clothesline. Oh, lift over the top rope onto the floor. We're in the corner now. Ben Balor. Good for that corner drop kick. Oh, nails it. Going up top. Everything in time for the two to cross. Oh, lands it. Goes for a pin. One, two. Jinder kicked out. My goodness. But then again, you can't become a former WWE Champion without being able to kick out of a move here and there. Here, there. Nice counter there by Mahal. It's a kick to the midsection, though. Now, clothesline sending him back out of the ring yet again. Mahal's almost spent more time outside the ring than he has in it. Live on his shoulders. Finn with a counter DET. Look here. Getting him up. Oh, plants him. Picked him up. He got countered though. What the hell doing here? All out of the ring on his own, I that time. There's the chop. Oh, and then his basement drop kick. So now we're now taking the hall. The ropes.
Throwing him out of the ring. Here comes Valor. Oh, nice front flip over the top rope. Oh, went for a dive. It didn't quite connect. Oh. Mahal taking advantage. High risk, high reward. That's the, uh, that's the thing with taking those dives. Mahal now in control. Off the, uh, mistake by Valor. Oh, oh, Valor gets the DET. Oh, boy, kick. What a kick. Oh, yeah. off by Death Valley Driver there. Dinner goes for a pin. One. No, it kicks out. Right about two. Stomp to the back. Now Ridge on the head and neck. Oh, Ginger Duck choking Dollar. up again. Oh! That's again, Valor. Plants him. Going up top. Is he going to get it? Go to Gras. Goes for a pin. One. Two. Three. Valor gets the victory. Second, it's been doing coming back in. Oh no, Valor stomping on the hall. Oh, showing some attitude. Oh, interesting turn of events there. All right, time for the main event. We're going to crown a universal champion. Got Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar one on one. Standard matchup here. Paul Heyman will, of course, be in the corner of the beast. So, di so different not having to wait for a load screen because of uh, being just regular characters in a regular arena. Here comes the King Slayer. Will he become the Beast Slayer tonight? Uh oh. Not if these two have anything to say about it. Brock Lesnar assaulting Rollins from behind. There's that that little weasel Paul Heyman. Oh. Egging on Brock, telling him to. Brutalize the architect. Oh, and that's exactly what the beast is doing. Rollins fighting off the beast for the moment. Oh, and for a leg drop, didn't connect. Oh, oh! Uh, Brock now mounting, punching. Oh, Just wailing on Seth Rollins. Now the beast is simply strolling to the ring. Oh, and Heyman gets it. Gets it from behind. Rollins going to work.
this California crowd cheering for some Suplex City, they might get it. Oh. Oh, there's a right knee. Rollins. Fiery offense. Just trying to burn down the beast. Oh, me to the face. Oh, nice counter there by Brock Lesnar. Oh, Brock looking to possibly take Seth to Suplex City. Uh oh. Oh, here he goes. One. Two. Three, there's a trifecta of German suplexes. Goes for her pin. One. No, kick out. Brock a little surprised. Thought his early onslaught was going to be enough, but apparently learned very quickly that uh, Rollins not going to go down without a fight. He was neck grip. Rollins having to fight out of it. Oh, Rollins looks like he's out of gas. Oh no, F5, one, two, Rollins kicks out of an F5. And he's back up to his feet. Loving Brock, oh. Oh, and a German suplex. Brock gets him up. Oh no. Oh, and another guillotine slam. Rollins now. And Lesnar against the ropes. He just wants to hurt him. That's that head and neck again. Knee strike to the face. Oh, went for a rain knee. Oh no. Oh no. Got caught. Oh, and another series of Germans. Oh, I don't know. If, oh, I don't know if he's gonna have anything left. Oh, he goes for an armbar. Interesting choice for choice for hold. Normally goes for a Kimura, but not quite got locked in. Seth almost rolled into a Kimura inadvertently. Oh, wait a second. Rollins with the kick. Rollins with the stomp. Goes for a pin. Referee dealing with Paul Heyman, though. Oh, and Brock Lesnar. Taking Rollins off his feet. Oh, and Re Lesnar gets caught. Oh. Rollins again gonna hang up Lesnar. That guillotine strike has been very, very beneficial for Rollins. Oh, for a running elbow, didn't connect. Oh. That one got him though. Rollins. Went for the ripcord knee. Oh. Catches Lizard on the jaw. One, two, two and a half. 
I was going up top, could be thinking Frog Splash. No, oh, Infernal Elbow Drop instead. Rollins knocking the beast out of the ring. <laughs> Rollins trying to amp himself up. Lesnar slowly getting to his feet. Oh! He got caught with the suicide dive. Oh! That hard super kick to the, to the abdomen. Well, Lesnar throws Rollins back in the ring. Oh no. Let him go to the back. Brock's not here to play. Oh, nice counter there. Rollins fighting back. Kick. Stomp. Go for a pin. One, two, three. Rollins has pinned the beast and is the new Universal Champion. He took Brock Lesnar beyond his limits. Brock fought and threw Seth around the ring. But Rollins was able to get the win. He's now the new Universal Champion. An exciting episode one here in King Books Raw. So this is the new Raw. This is what you can expect in going forward. Thank you so much for watching episode one of King Books Raw. Stay tuned for more. And have a good night, everybody.